So yeah, uh, Carmelo Anthony was just traded to the Oklahoma City Thunder for I believe a future Bulls second round pick, Doug McDermott and Enos Kanter. You guys all know I'm a Knicks fan. I'm a diehard Knicks fan, sadly. And I have a little uh, stuff to talk about this trade because I do have a lot on my mind about this. So I'm not gonna come on here. I'm not gonna scream, yell, "Oh my God, we traded blah blah blah." Signs where I'm not gonna. I'm not mad. I'm, I'm really happy for Melo, but I'm just like disappointed in what the Knicks or how they treated him who was a top 10 player in the NBA when they traded for him he was one of the best scorers like we've ever seen in his years in Denver his first year in New York was honestly incredible even though he did take away a little bit from what Amara Steinmeier was doing and that I didn't like and I was just really sad to see them not work together even though we all thought they were going to be the one two punch we they were going to bring us to an NBA finals that us delusional Nick fans thought but he never really lived up to that full potential that we all thought. He did actually was the scoring leader I one year. If I gotta say, I would say it was around 2013, 2014, 2012. One of those years, he did win the scoring or He was the highest scoring player in the NBA, which was amazing. And like, I, like I was blessed to witness that season and how good he was for us. But I'm just sad that like how he's out of here now and how it happened. If you know me at all too, I love Mel. Like I never disrespected the guy. I never said, oh, get him the hell out of here. I want Mel to stay because I thought and Mel stayed with this team, we were going to make the playoffs as a 7 or an 8 seed. I was definitely thinking, or confident, that Chris Osborne's Tim Hardaway, Frank Nielakina, Carmelo Anthony, Billy Hernan Gomez, Joaquin Noah, uh, Michael Beasley, and Courtney Lee were going to bring us to an 8 seed, which is definitely a talented enough roster to get an 8 seed. And I, I was like, let's not trade Mel, let's just give the season, he'll leave at the end of the season, let's just try to make the playoffs, screw it, get playoff basketball in New York for the second time in, what, 10, 15 years? Um, we only had that one year back in uh, 2013, 2014, I'm really bad with the years and dates. But the, the year we lost to the Pacers in the second round, uh, where J.R. Smith kind of blew that series for us, and then Phil Jackson came in, made literally just put us to the ground. We were a what, like a 56-win team se that season, and then we just... Three years later, we're a 20 win team, and the team, like, literally, you traded away Jared Smith, Iman Shumpert for basically a second round pick, which was honestly one of the worst trades of this uh, decade. And then you decided to give Mel the no trade clause, which was honestly, at that time, now that I think about it, we should have did a sign and trade with some team and traded Mel to the Bulls, get at least the first round pick or something, or just traded Mel. But we, he, they just handled the situation so freaking poorly with Mello. It sucks because we basically got Enos Kanter, who is a good scorer. He's only 25, I believe, so he does have some potential. But he's making a lot of money, and he's a liability on defense, which sucks, which what we need because our bigs don't play the best defense. Well, Billy Hernan Gomez is... He's all right, and like we know about Joakim Noah, Kyle Quinn's not too bad. But Enos Kanter, I don't know how well he's going to work in this offense. Um, I'm actually really excited to see what he can do. I don't know what the rotation's going to look like. I have no idea who's starting at small forward. It's going to be, I guess, Frank Nielakina, hopefully, Hardaway. I, I guess Michael Beasley might start at small forward, which I'm actually all for. I really think Michael Beasley can have a decent year for us. And then I guess at the, f you know what we should do? We should play Enos Kanter at the four and then Porzingis at the five. But we have so many goddamn centers now. Kanter is apparently, I think he's considered a center. We have Kyle Quinn, Joakim Noah, and Billy Hernan Gomez. That's four centers on this team that deserve quality minutes. Wait, I guess I Joakim Noah doesn't deserve quality minutes. But at least O'Quinn, so Kanter, and Hernan Gomez all do, which is going to be a cluster, you know what, at the center position. I have no idea. Jeff Wojnarczyk is going to have to figure that out. I have no idea what he's going to do. But I guess that's what he's getting paid for. Uh, we're getting Doug McDermott, who I saw a tweet that the Bulls traded basically uh, Gary Harris and Yusuf Nurkic back in like the 2014-2015 draft for Doug McDermott, which is like a really bad trade if you think about it. So Doug McDermott, he's a good scorer. Actually, Doug McDermott's probably going to start at small forward. Oh my god, I'm going to throw up. Oh, okay, this season is going to be an interesting one. I guess it's tank mode. I hope we just see what we can do, see the players we want to keep, and then maybe make a trade or two to get another first round pick would be cool by the deadline if we can maybe unload one of these players, like Kyle O'Quinn or Enos Kanter or somebody like at the deadline to get a first round pick, and then we can maybe just build for the draft. Hopefully we can get a top five pick where we can get Luka Doncic, uh, Marvin Bagley, uh, Colin Sexton, um, DeAndre Aiden. I'm trying to think of people, Mohamed Bamba. Just people like that we can maybe draft, or Michael Porter Jr. would be amazing. Oh my god, if we get Michael Porter Jr. Uh, to be the next Mellow, even though Mellow never lived up to me. But uh, yeah, uh, I, I was a, I'm was a diehard Knicks fan. I hate to see Mellow go. I supported this guy the whole way. Um, I love the dude, and it's so sad that he's going to be gone. And I'm, it really sucks how like we treated him so poorly, and he was a top 10 player when we traded for him. Uh, I still believe in my eyes he's still a top 25 player in the NBA. He's definitely a top 5 scorer right now. You can put it on there. He can score from anywhere mid-range. Um, good inside scorer. Can still shoot the three pretty well. Uh, 
And yeah, it just sucks that he's gone. I'll even show you a picture of me in a Knicks jersey. I am at college, so I don't have that jersey with me, but here you go. Here's me with uh, two of my friends. You can see me right there in the Knicks jersey, in that mellow jersey. So yeah, so a bunch of Knicks fans are probably going to give you different reactions. Like, some are going to be so happy. Oh, we finally trade mellow. What a, like, we got a player. It's better than what we would have gotten for the Rockets, which is true, and that's saying optimistic, but it's also a bittersweet moment for me. I'm really upset mellow got traded. He was probably one of my favorite players, one of my favorite Knicks ever. I like just watching him play basketball was just so amazing and like watching him score but um like I'll never forget the Bulls game on Easter where he hit the three-pointer to send it to overtime and then he hit the game winner in overtime back-to-back -back threes from like 35 feet out I'll never forget that moment as an Knicks fan so that's gonna be for me thank you all for watching let me know in the comments what your guys thoughts are on this trade I actually think I'm gonna have a Knicks rebuild out today which is gonna be super funny um I guess I gotta make that trade happen or if the rosters update uh so yeah be on the lookout for that and yeah let me know in the comments what you guys think of the trade I guess obviously the Thunder one let me know what your guys side is it of it for the Knicks, uh, Knicks side of it because I'll definitely like to read those because I'm a Knicks fan. I'll just like to see what you guys are going to say. So that's going to be for me. Thank you all for watching. I love you guys. I hope Mel wins a ring in OKC this year and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.